All right, people, we are uh, here in downtown Circleville. Uh, we are at the Main Street exit. Um, I've been told that it's uh, Sopadel's flying up this road uh, coming in. Uh, I was just reported that they were at uh, Ringgold Southern Road. Uh, ben, I mean, Brandon, I, I started a uh, live already. If you want to add in and jump in there, that'd be awesome. Um, hey, Catherine. Hey, Jeff. Yep, they should be coming over the hill here real soon. Um, they are at uh, Ringgold Southern Road right now is what they said. Hey Ben, how do I um, how do I add in your feed, Brandon? Good morning, everybody. Um, I talked to the uh, the heavy duty guys this morning, and uh, they said that uh, they're raring to go and get this done today. They said that the, you know they're about a week overdue. I'm doing pretty good, Gary. Or is that Tracy? I don't know which one. Um, so they're they're ready to get this done today. So. Um, I talked to uh, Pickaway County today, and they said that uh, they're ready for everybody to come in. Uh, I, I had I heard through the grapevine, Fairfield County is is not going to stop this. So we are uh, probably about five minutes out. From uh, coming down this, coming down 22 right here where we're looking right now, um, I, I see some guys already coming into the area. It stopped raining, so if you guys want to come out, you got about five to ten minutes before it's in the area here. Um, and uh, you can see this dryer come down through here. Uh, we are at 22 in Main Street. As you can see, the, the trucks are uh, active and moving now. Um, I left Buckeye Station uh, earlier, Angie. I did a live feed up there where it was parked. And uh, the cool thing that's going on right now, Discovery Channel is in town uh, filming this this situation. They were up there at uh, Buckeye Station this morning uh, filming the Sofidel dryer and stuff and they're now uh, following um, the Sofidel dryer through town. So um, Discovery Channel's here. It's pretty cool, you know. Uh, I, I feel like I did it first. It's Discovery Channel. I'm going to call you out right now. I, I've done this first, so nah. <laughs> Thanks, Gene. Passing University now? Okay, so we got a report that it's passing the, uh, the uh, OCU University right now. So we are probably, you know, still about five minutes out. You'll start seeing, uh, there's the first set of uh, lights right here. You see right there. Those are the ones that are in front of Kroger's. Um, and the ones that are right there by the fairgrounds, you should see those ones start to get moved here soon. should see uh, um, activity there here real soon. It's chilly out here today after this big old rain. Uh, last night, I don't know if you guys caught it, but there was a uh, big uh, barn fire that we covered last night. And there's also, um, it'll come straight at me, Deb, from here. It's gonna come straight over the fairgrounds and straight straight towards us right towards us ah, like that um, uh, last night there was also uh, um, an interesting drug bust and I'll be um, I'll be posting that on it happened late last night so I'm trying to get all the information on that one now but um, that one look forward to that one uh, today I also this morning was able to join um, the high school students, um, 
they had a uh, uh, first responders breakfast this morning where they invited all the first responders to um, come to breakfast and uh, some of the high school students showed up to uh, high school about an hour early and uh, they went into the kitchen and they actually made the first responders breakfast this morning and uh, we had a pretty good turnout of first responders that came and uh, they were served eggs and sausage and donuts um, there's donuts um, donated by Lindsay's Bakery um, and I think coffee by Tim Hortons but everything else was made by the students which I thought was really kind of neat yeah it's coming west on uh, 22 into town from uh, from OCU so coming from the Ohio University into town right here and it's gonna it's gonna take a right it's gonna take a right right here on Main Street and go down to Pickaway Street where it's gonna take a left I'm glad you guys are listening. <laughs> so this is going to be a pretty good place to see it roll through. If you guys want to park on um, Big Lots or uh, Kroger parking lot, Dollar General, I'm right here at Zazie's Pizza now. Um, and uh, T-Mobile, I got to shout out to T-Mobile because um, you know they always give me a hard time. <laughs> See down there, you can see some lights and stuff happening way down there. Still a little windy, so I get a little shake even though I have my stabler eyes are on here. Thanks, Gene. I'm enjoying it too, uh, you know. If, if you haven't got out and seen, you know, this Sofidel dryer and just seen the, the massive size of it, um, one cool thing I love to show people is, is you see these lights right here? You know, not only do they have to move those lights, they have to, to move all these individual lights here, but they have to move this pole up to get this dryer underneath. That's how big this thing is. I mean, you see a regular truck, you see the idea of how big this dryer is. I'll zoom back in here so you can see the action. Yeah, it's it's huge. It's it's huge and it's super fun to see. These are uh, as they shutting down the roads. You know, the police officers are kind of giving them the support that they need to uh, just roll down the 22. And they don't really shut down. They just shut down small sections, so they're not impeding traffic as much as as you think. Now, a couple of different uh, cool things about the Sofidel dryer. It is a, uh, it's 20 foot, six inches tall at its lowest point. You know, when I say the lowest point, when it goes across the railroad tracks or it goes up a hill, it has pistons that lift it up. Um, and it can lift up to about 22 feet. That's its maximum height. Um, so when you see this thing cruising down the road, it, it literally, touches on a regular two-lane road it touches white line to white line that's how wide it is also so it's really neat to to watch looks like they got a pretty good escort this morning that looks pretty neat doesn't it um when i talked to the the big guy that is in charge of the move here um he told me that uh um each individual wire there was um Throughout the route, they have to measure all the wires, and the wires are standard at 16 feet above the ground. That's 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 pretty much the standard for all the wires across the road. Um, yeah, it's com it's coming in about five minutes. Uh huh. You're not going that way. You're not going that way. Um, <laughs> um, sorry. Uh, Thanks, man. Um, fans yelling at me for a second there. Uh, 
but they, throughout this whole route, they had to measure all these wires to make sure that they get the dryer could make underneath of it because most of these wires are 16 feet going across the road. Um, some of these wires they were too tight for them to uh, to move up, so they had to permanently move them up. And there was 150 of those, 150 of those moves throughout this 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 course. Um, that that those are the permanents. Those aren't the ones that you're seeing now where they have the. Uh, uh, the trucks that come and lift up those there's a, over 180 of those and now I was told that by the by the um, the guy in charge of this entire move that the the planning for this route they had seven total routes that they planned to move this dryer from 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 the river all the way up here to Circleville this was the only one that they could get approved through um, the county through, uh, through through the cities through all that yeah, it's really time. It took over a year, he told me, to, to, to plan all this. Of course, you know, they, they knew it was coming in when they, uh, when they started building it. But um, it came across the boat in, from Sweden, and then it was transferred off that boat into a barge. And that barge came up the Ohio River to uh, Manchester, Ohio, where um, they transferred it off the barge um, and onto these trucks. And then they made this route and had this route. This will be the uh, this will be the uh, the final the final one. There's only two that are coming to um, to Sofidel. Now, uh, according to the paperwork, and if, if you look at, uh, I did a post on site a post uh, last week about um, these dryers. I think this is maybe the the third dryer and only three dryers in the world that are made like this. So it's that it's that unique. We have two of them. The other one's in uh, Europe somewhere. So as you can see right now, they are um, the, the the blue bucket truck. Those are the guys that move up the lights. Um, you see, he's moving up the lights right now and adjusting the lights uh, right there at the fairground uh, corner. I don't know what that road is right there. You guys have any other questions I might be able to answer? Um, the, wet, the total weight of the dryer and the trailer and everything is about 750,000 pounds. That's why it's such a big deal. Last night, um, they didn't get to Buckeye Station until about 9 o'clock because they uh, ran into the hill on, uh, on that route that uh, they couldn't get up. With the, wet, with the wet conditions, the trucks kept slipping and uh, they couldn't get up it. So they called in uh, a team of tow trucks that grabbed hold of it and moved it too. Hey, Lori. So they didn't get to Buckeye Station last night until about 9 p.m. Uh, Brandon, I asked that question to the big guy and he wouldn't answer it. He told me that I had to ask Sofidel and uh, I haven't really been able to get a hold of Sofidel that, that easy. They seem to be fairly fairly uh, quiet when it comes to their news. Uh, I'll keep trying though. Uh, I'm curious to know also. Thanks, Jordan. Uh, I can see the dryer. You see the dryer? It just crested the hill right there. So there's the dryer right there. Um, it is right across from the fairgrounds right now. Yeah, I hear the train too. What's going on, man? I'm, I'm not sure where they sleep. I, I actually was gonna ask them that. I was, you know, it was such a late night last night with the fire and, and uh, a drug bus and, and following Sofidel, I came home and spent some time with the kiddos and the family, um, but I, I, I did want to kind of hang out with these guys and kind of get those questions answered. I'm kind of curious too. I'm really zoomed in. That's why it kind of looks a little bit blurry since I'm all the way up here on, on Main Street. As you see right here, that's why it looks so blurry. 
But as it gets closer, we'll get a lot better shot. See all the lights and stuff. I think that's pretty cool. Thanks, Angie. I am, uh, yeah, I'll be live, Daniel, at, at CVS also. The pickaway corner is a pretty cool corner, too. So, uh, I'm going to try and follow this as long as I can. truck in the middle of the road right there with the pole. She's the one that's checking the heights. Um, she has that, that long pole in that chaser truck. She checks the heights of the, uh, of, uh, of everything and tells the uh, equipment operators. Yeah, William, it's, it's, it, it, it's, uh, it's massive. It's crazy. <laughs> Gene, I get about four to six hours. I've never been a sleeper. I, I, I'll sleep when I'm dead. So that's how I feel. <laughs> Look at this situation right here. He just pulled right up on that route and that guy just had to slam on his brakes. <laughs> that probably would have scared me too. Really see the dryer right now. I'm gonna move for you guys. See down there. I'll take a, a quick walk down there. Maybe I can cross the road here. The officer's uh, blocking the road now, so I'm gonna cross. See, there's a decent amount of people that come out to see uh, the dryer this morning. Hi guys, how are you? Hi. Yep, that's me. Well, thanks. Jeremy, right? Yep. yep. Jeremy. Hi, Jeremy. Randy. Nice to meet you. It's been fun, hasn't it? Hey, I. There's cops there. If they if they had a problem, they would have they would have got me. Yeah, people don't know. They, they just get in these situations and they get jacked. <laughs> oh yeah, hi eighth graders. What, uh, what school, Laura? Hey Laura, what school are uh, eighth graders are watching? Westfall, hey Westfall, that's awesome. I, I love that. Um, you can tell the kiddos that uh, you know you see these lights. And you see how um, if you look up here, you see that pole. That, that lady's got on her truck. See that pole right there? That pole is the height of the Sofidel dryer. And you see, not only does he have to move the light sideways, but he has to pull that bar up to get that dryer through. That's how big this, this, this dryer is. 
a soap and oil dryer coming through. We are uh, currently right in front of Kroger's right here. That's uh, Sofidel Dryer uh, honking his horn saying it's coming up from uh, the one light. You can, I don't know if you can see it here. I'll zoom in. There she is right there. The guy in the uh, orange, I mean the yellow jacket right there, that is, uh, that is the big guy. He's the guy that is uh, in charge of this entire uh, operation. Maybe I can go down there and bug him. I say we go down and bug him because it'll be fun. Get my exercise this morning. You see here, up here, he's, he's getting prepared to pull that up. Get that out of the way. Get that dryer ready. Just look, she's got her puppy. She's got her puppy on her chase dog. Yesterday we walk up to the puppy and the puppy uh, the puppy smiles at you. Uh, if you're just joining us, we are live here in uh, Circleville, Ohio, where they're bringing the second dryer um, through town here in Circleville. Uh, this is going to the Sofidel plant right here in town. So. Here, I'll get this guy on camera. Watch this. Hey! I'm watching you! <laughs> we are uh, just about to the big lots. Um, it, it's, a, it's a dryer for the tissue plant. It, it, it's, uh, um, it's on our website. If you look on our website, you'll see um, some information on it. And it'll tell you about... Uh, know exactly the process and, and whatnot um, I will get some more information on it but it basically makes tissue uh, toilet paper tissue stuff like that there's just two of them but there's such a large item coming through I'm gonna get on the other side of this bridge I do not want to be on this bridge when this thing goes across <laughs> What's going on, man? Walking home? Yes. Woo! Yeah, I was told the head Discovery Channel was here today. I don't think they got any coverage on us. I'm just going to say that. I'm calling you out, Discovery Channel. Well, James, thanks for joining us. I grew up in Maine, right by uh, right by Canada. So uh, Canadian people are good people. As you can see through town here, they're going, uh, they're towing it with both trucks. Uh, when they get up to this corner, they'll have to dis they'll have to disconnect the trucks. I want to get this shot right here. Uh, it's going to be a pretty neat shot. Uh -huh. right here. I want you to see uh, when this dryer goes through. Here she is right here at the top of the dryer. I want, to sh I want to show you how close that dryer gets to the top of that. You watch that. It'll just, it'll just scrape almost. See that? That's how close it is. I'm walking beside the dryer right now. Right here in Circleville, Ohio. Right 
Um, it's finally home. It's been about a week and a half trip from Man Manchester, Ohio, where it came off a barge, which it came off a ship that came from Sweden. Um, this is the second uh, dryer now that they uh, that they've moved into town, and it'll be the last dryer also. Um, if you are watching this and you are in, you are in local and you want to see this, we are um, currently on 22. We're about to turn onto Main Street, and we'll head down Main Street until we get to Pickaway, which is right in front of CVS and um, and where the uh, Roundtown players are. Um, if you want to see this, and it's a, it's a sight to see. You, you see it on here, and you see how big it is, but it it really is humongous. The entire package, um, the entire package weighs about uh, 750,000 pounds. Hey, <laughs> you're stuck. They are uh, working on uh, moving this line up right here. There's a pass in that line quite. about I think about 96 wheels they are gonna get to the right side of the road here uh, we're about to make this turn from 22 to Main Street here so they're gonna kind of get to the right side so they can get this uh, so they can get uh, up here they are uh, currently moving the lights and bringing lights up so it can make this turn if you guys are joining us right now we are here in Circleville Ohio the, uh, what we are doing is we are following the dryer that's come from Sweden to uh, Circleville, Ohio for the uh, Sofidel um, plant. Uh, this is the second dryer that's come into town. And uh, it's a big deal for us here in Circleville because it, you know, it, it's a big company that's brought in jobs. It's brought in uh, hope and prosperity to our town. So uh, we are famous also for the pumpkin show. Uh, we have an amazing pumpkin show here in town. to make this turn right here. You see this, this they're gonna make this turn onto our main street. Right here, and they'll have to unhook that first truck in order to do it because it's so long that they can't do it with both trucks. They also, um, on the trailer itself, they have, um, they have independent uh, steering on both sides of the trailer. The front and the back has uh, has chains, whatnot. Right now they're locked into place, but soon they will uh, unlock them from the trailer itself, and, and they and they actually steer independently. So the front and the back of this trailer will will steer itself around the corner. The truck doesn't really manage that. Did you see? 
see when I make this turn, he's gonna go have to go all the way over to this side of the road to make this turn. These turns are uh, always kind of questionable. Uh, you can see up top here, they've pulled this line up. Cause that's how tall this is. They have to actually pull the uh, stoplights up to make it underneath. If you watch the sofa down the top of the, the dryer when they make this turn, um, it'll probably almost scrape those lights. You see right here, he's all the way against that side of the road. As they make this turn, I want you to pay attention to the top of that dryer. You know, that, those lights aren't even, they're not even uh, at standard height. They've been pulled up. And that dryer is so tall, it's almost scraping it. You guys are just joining us. We are here in Circleville, Ohio. This is the Sofidel dryer um, coming through. It's a massive, heavy transport. It's uh, it weighs about 750,000 pounds, and uh, this is the second one that's come into our town. And it's for uh, that's actually made to, to make tissue, toilet paper. That's what that's for. You see right here. He's all the way at the edge of this road on this side. And the dryer, you see this, it's almost cutting on this side. They are uh, pulling up this, this one now, this uh, light. Trying to make this turn. Now, the really cool thing about, the, about this trailer is that this back end right here, these pistons, if you see them right here, this actually steers independently. They have a guy in the back that will steer that independently to get around that corner. These these wheels can go left, they can go right, just like a regular car. Right now they're trying to move these lights out of the way. As you can see, that's standard height right now, they're going to have to pull that up, and, it, and it's going to scrape it. Uh, when they go over the railroad tracks, a really cool thing, if you see in between the bed right here, uh, there's pistons right there, and they lift those pistons up to make it taller when they go over the railroad tracks, or when they go over a hill, they, uh, they use those pistons, so, you know, if you see right here, that's the bottom of the trailer. And uh, that they can scrape against the ground, because it's only like a two-foot clearance there. They're checking heights now, make sure it's going to make it. What do you think? Is that big? How big is it? Huh? Is it pretty big? Yeah? Biggest thing you ever seen? Good video, though. Now they're blowing the horn. That means that they're moving. They are, uh, the front truck is uh, kind of pulling its way to the right now. They're pulling around. Here. We are uh, we are almost on Main Street. We are halfway right now. We're on 22 in Main Street right now. <laughs> Next time you guys are driving through town and you look at those lights, you see how tall this sofa del dryer is. You see right now. He's pulling that bar up. To give you an idea of what how big this really is. Oh, 
Oh, I'm sure. That's a big, that's a big deal haul right there. Um, the guy that's in charge of this uh, haul, he told me that um, it's not the heaviest one he's, he's hauled, but it is certainly definitely a tall one compared to what he's hauled. At uh, 20 and a half feet tall, at 22 at maximum height, um, she gets pretty big. Uh, we are uh, side of the post. If you guys are watching this and you want to watch more coverage, um, this has uh, made its way onto Main Street and we'll be covering the next turn also onto Pickaway Street. Um, and that will be in about five minutes. We'll go live again. Uh, like and share and uh, join side of post for our next video. We'll be up and running here in a second. I just gotta get drove around to the next right. to the next one. Huh? <laughs> here's a here's a good video of it right from behind. We will uh I will be going live again here in just a few minutes. 